Good morning, Dad. This week we, we want to look at at a topic that is very prevalent to all of us. It's there. Sometimes we try to ignore what's there, but it's it's there. And we have to find the way, which is in the Bible, that's why I say the way, how to get rid of that problem, get rid of that challenge that we have. And the challenge is fear. And if we look at fear in the Bible or encouragement not to fear or not to feed, and we see that challenge throughout the Bible, it was so important that God tells us, like he told Joshua, be not thou or be not afraid. That is mentioned 365 times in the Bible. You could say it's mentioned once for each day. That's the importance and the relevance it is. So when people tell you, boy, you don't fear, always have faith, it doesn't mean that fear isn't there. We look at from Joshua to Jesus, and we saw the challenges that Joshua faced now to lead the people of Israel out of this bondage into the land flowing with milk and honey. Remember, he was the, he, the only one out of the only two, himself and Caleb, who said, yes, we could take the land. And because of the people's unbelief or fear, they had to spend 40 years circling that same land that was given to them already 40 years ago. And sometimes we ask ourselves, the thing that you have or, or what is leading you to, why it seems so long in coming, because God have already given that to you. Sometimes we're just circling for 40 years because we of little feet. This morning, take care lest you circle for 40 years. The land is already yours. Go grab it. Go take it. God is saying, be strong and have good courage.